Good day viewers, you are welcome. How to solve these nice functional equations? The question is given here is f inverse of x plus 3 equals x squared plus 3x plus 2. And we want to find f of x that satisfy this. There are three things we need to find here. So first is we have to make sure that this right hand side which is in the form of quadratic equations, we have to write it in form of a factors having x plus 3 as uh, one as the two factors. And after that, we are going to change this inverse to the ordinary form like this, which is f of x. So to do that, we consider the solution from here. So from the left hand side, which is x squared plus 3x plus 2, let's try and factorize that. So by factorizing that one, we have x squared. So if you take this as x plus 2x, then here is plus 2. So we know x plus 2 here. So this is the sum. And uh, so this is just like 2 times 1. And we consider this as product. Then you can just say we combine x squared and x together. So by doing that, we have x squared plus x in bracket. So then plus also we combine 2x plus 2 times 1, that is 2. So after having this, so what is common here is x. So by factoring out x, so in this bracket, we have x plus 1. Then plus, what is common here is 2. By factoring out 2, we have x plus 1. So since x plus 1 is common to this, we have to take x plus 1, one of these, which is, we have x plus 1, then we place it beside x plus 2. So this is how we can factorize this one completely. Then we will now recall back from f inverse of x plus 3. So this equals, the factor now becomes x plus 1 multiplied by x plus 2. So if this is what we have, then, so we have just one domain here. So our domain here is given as x plus 3. And at this side, we have x plus 1, and this is x plus 2. It means they are not resemble this. We have to make sure that x plus 1 looks like x plus 3, and uh, x plus 2 looks like x plus 3. And to achieve that aim, we have to do some little manipulation here, as we have f inverse of x plus 3. So this will be equals to, let's try and create a larger bracket. Then in this bracket, we have x plus 1. We can change it to the form of x plus 3. But initially, it was x plus 1. Then we change it to x plus 3, which means we need to subtract 2. Because 3 minus 2, that equals 1. So we bracket this. And also, for the second bracket, we have x plus 2, and we need x plus 3. So by changing this one to x plus 3, it means we have to subtract uh, minus 1 from this. So after we have done this, then we cannot replace x plus 3 with just x, since we need to find f of x. But here, it is still f inverse of x, so which is equals, instead of x plus 3, we change it to ordinary x. Then we have minus 2, so here is x minus 1. So it looks like we get another quadratic, because it's another factor of a particular quadratic function so here we have f inverse of x so this equals x times x so we give we get x squared x times minus one that is minus x minus two times x so we have minus two x and minus two times minus one that gives us plus two so <clears throat> after having this so we are going to have this as f inverse of x so this equals x squared minus 3x plus 2. So x squared minus 3x plus 2. This is for 
only f inverse of x so another work now is we have to reduce this f inverse of x to f of x so what we do here is suppose i let if i let f inverse of x to be equals to y so it shows that for every f x here so x will be equals to f of y so this is what we are going to get for this so after getting this then we have already let f inverse of x here equals to y we have to replace it with this y and uh, we are going to solve it so let's see how we can do that since we have let f inverse of x equals to y so let's try and replace it so a becomes y equals x squared minus 3x plus 2 so let's make x the subject of the formula but here there is x squared so if we say we want to factor out x from here so we're still going to have one x so we cannot see how to make that one the subject of the formula but here is how to do it it's very simple suppose i transfer this y to other side so here we are going to have zero right so we have zero equals to x squared minus 3x plus 2 then here is minus y so which we can write this thing as x squared minus 3x plus 2 minus y equals 0 so after having this then in the next step here is we have to solve this one quadratically but we are going to consider 2 minus y as just a constant value so because we need to find the variable x so therefore from here we consider the quadratic expression it means that a equals to 1 we are going to have b which is minus 3 and we have c which is 2 minus y so by trying to plug it in the quadratic formula so we are going to have so this implies that our x equals minus b which is minus minus 3 so we have this as 3 plus or minus the square root of so b squared that is minus 3 squared we have it as 9 minus so we have minus 4ac so a is 1 then c here is 2 minus y so divided by divided by 2 so then we have x equals 3 plus or minus so the square root of so we try and expand this we are going to have 9 minus 4 times 2 that is 8 then minus 4 times y we have it as plus 4y divided by 2 then we have x equals 3 plus or minus so the square root of 9 minus 8 that is 1 then 1 plus 4y divided by 2 but we shouldn't forget that our x here it has been given from the above which is f of y so we just try and replace our x here with f of y so by doing that so by doing that we are going to have our x here uh we have changed to f of y so we have f of y equals 3 plus or minus so square root of 1 plus 4y divided by 2 so after having this since we have to find f of x so just try to change y to x and we have f of x equals 3 plus or minus the square root of 1 plus 4x divided by 2 so a is the result that we get but we have to define something here properly that our x here is a member of positive integer so including zero so we are not going to get negative here just to avoid having a complex uh complex number so this is how to solve this problem thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe to this channel see you in the next class never stop learning bye bye